watching on Zoom. Yes. All right, thank you, Bethany okay. and Jess, for joining us. We'll begin with in-person questions. We'll start with Jacob. Hi, Jess and Bethany. Congrats on the win today. Um, goals and goal celebrations were on point today. Uh, just your, uh, both of your overall thoughts on the win today. Um, well, most importantly, it was obviously the three game we got the international breaks being pretty tough. And we had to travel midweek. Obviously, Chicago didn't play in the Challenge Cup, so we knew that that it was we would have to come out with one real fast, and that's exactly what we did. Obviously, that year was just um, fantastic. And I think just our uh, kind of resilience throughout the game when you know we were clearly getting tired um, just shows what what this club is about. To be honest, we wanted to win the game. We knew that anything less than three points was not good enough for us today. Um, and everyone kind of just pulled through, worked as hard as they can, gave even more than that. Um, and on top of that, we managed in bits to play some fantastic football, score unbelievable goals. I think Bruce's first goal was just unbelievable play from us. Um, and so, you know, we conceded two goals, which we wouldn't really normally probably concede if we went a little fatigued. But, I mean, to win 5-2 at the back of this kind of run that we've had is just... Says everything about this group, I think, for a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, just to add on to that, I think, uh, like we were up 2 0 and then we conceded, but like then we got right back and then it was 3 2 and then we just kind of put the game to rest, which is uh, what we needed to do. And I'm really proud of the group for responding in that way because, yeah, with, we had every excuse to, that we could have made as to conceding and. Um, just throw the towel in, but that's not the identity of this group. And so, um, just the depth we have on this squad is is obviously become crucial in things like this, and we're going to need to move forward. Uh, just as a follow up to that, the conceding of the two goals from two instances where you you know had a two goal lead, how is that, how much of a concern is that uh, for the team? I don't think it's a con concern at all. Obviously, we'll go we'll go through the goals, I'm sure, but I think you can put some of it down to maybe just us switching off a little bit um, and just yeah like I said it's been a, it's been a tough week and you know there were probably moments in, in those goals where you know if we were we were pretty fresh we would we were probably dealt with it a little earlier or a little better um, so yeah nothing, nothing to be concerned about for us we were probably just speak about it briefly and then put it to bed and move on you know we have another three game week coming up so we need to kind of get, get the rest kind of going so I don't think there's any concern about those goals today. Thank you. Uh, first up Jess, uh, today you were partnered in the middle with uh, Sonic, what looked like kind of a 2-4 four forward mm -hmm. formation. Uh, could you speak to how that partnership is developing and Bethany how is it to have that overloaded front line pressing forward the whole map? Um, yeah, it was kind of a different shape. We switched up her style a little bit, and I kind of found myself in in the middle of the field as opposed to wide. But I think um, it, it's really good to expose a good team that way because we have so many threats on the front line. And so, um, obviously, I think we pride ourselves on our press. Um, and obviously, this was our first time trying that this game, so there's obviously some kinks we need to work out. But I think it's really good to have in our back pocket if we ever need it moving forward. Um, and obviously, I feel like uh, lots of times we did have them turn over the ball and we were able to, to move forward quickly. So um, it's definitely something we're still working on. But um, I, I mean, we, we scored five goals in that formation, so it must be doing something right. I think it shows how versatility really with the group that we have. We can bring in V and, and Z and, and throw Beth in the middle, almost like a front two kind of, and just of me and Son behind, which, you know, me and Son hasn't haven't really played in that, that formation before where we're both kind of rooted. Um, but that's just where we are right now. You know, we have a couple injuries and, and people just have to do things that would, it wouldn't normally be their role, but we need them to do something else. And it says a lot about this group that we can train it out for approximately 30 minutes because we only had one day truly work on it. Um, and 
uh, yeah, you, you ask someone like Beth to do different roles a day, and she pops up with two goals and an assist, and that just says, I think for me, a lot about this group and our willingness to take on information, learn what a role looks like. It can change every, every from week to week. Um, and we're just able to kind of do that right now. Hopefully we can maintain that level of focus moving forward. And playing with Sana is just, it's just easy. She's, she's great. She's, she's so good that we barely need to speak to each other. So could be because we're old and experienced and so we just kind of know. But Sana is just Sana. She's just so good. She's just brilliant. So that was easy. Bethany, you were obviously able to enjoy yourself a little bit after your two goals. Um, I'm curious how many choreographed celebrations you may be coming to each week. Uh, how much fun is that to, to kind of plan for those? And what was your maybe faux drink of choice there after the first one? Yeah, um, I, honestly, they just come into my head when I'm like holding something. And that's kind of, you know, after the first game, or our, our Gotham game after my first goal with Scott, I was like, okay, me and Scott, we're going to have like a partnership this year on all the goals. Um, and so we, there's just so many funny moments in, within the team, and like I feel like you know one day I was wearing my head pretending to be or wearing my headset pretending to be a DJ, and that's why I was like, okay, Scott, I'm gonna go over to you and be be a DJ, just because like I mean, when the league steps up their celebrations, we have to too, and I feel like uh, they're they're just so fun now, you know. Um, and yeah, I feel like in the past we've just been like, ooh, I scored a goal, but now I'm like, let's have a little dance party before we go back because it's fun. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fun time. Um, you guys, sorry, <laughs> had a, a very efficient shooting today. Some, somewhat uh, uncharacteristic, particularly efficient shooting day. Five goals on barely over one XG. Um, yeah, it was pretty low. At least that was the athletics one they had. They, they could be different. Um, but every shot on target you had went in. Did something click for you guys today, or what? What happened that you kind of exploded for five goals today and were really efficient? If anything, luck finally turned over. Yeah, <laughs> it's been like coming in two years. Yeah, it's been of our existence. Yeah, no, I think honestly, in truth, this one in training just scores every time she gets the ball. So I think Beth being able to be a little bit more central um, means she's in the box. Um, and when Beth is in the box, Beth can score goals. That is just an absolute fact. Like, there's no, she's just in there, she'll get a head on it, she'll get a foot on it, she just knows how to score goals. And so, you know, that, what, I think what gives us confidence, even in this formation, you know, we probably could have, we could have easily have, have still gone a little bit safe, but we went out to attack to get the game done as soon as possible because we knew what the week was like. And when you have the likes of, Bodie and Jordan and V and that, like, you know, it, it's no surprise to me that she gets two chances to score two goals when she's a little bit central. No surprise to me at all. Obviously, sometimes we ask her to do different things for us. Um, but both on the field, she's going to get your goal. And I think that just in training, you know, we're working on set plays a lot, which I think you can see. We scored a lot of set plays already this year. Um, and then it's just, just open playing and finishing the right. Um, I think that today we had a little bit more space moving forward where we were able to break the initial kind of line. Um, I think that's where the fifth goal comes from, you know, so it breaks the line by dribbling and then this one's out wide and, and this is. So it's just different types of goals today as well, which is good for us. We use the spaces that we we talked about yesterday. Um, and so this this now should just be, you know, our, our norm. We create these chances we have people that can finish these chances, and that's why it's super frustrating sometimes when we have an XG of four and we score, you know, half a goal or something. So, um, to be able to be as efficient and ruthless in a game like this after a week like this is exactly what we want to do and the team that we want to be. And so we 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 will do our best to not drop below that kind of mentality. Do you have anything to add? Or? Um, other teams should be scared. <laughs> uh, one follow-up question for you, Jess. You hit 41 all-time regular season goals today. Um, you were at 39, you got 41. You're the third non-American to um, have over 40 goals. Um, 
you know, I asked myself the question when you became the first player to score in all ten seasons. But, you know, what does it mean to you to score so many goals? And do you think of yourself as a goal scorer? No. Yeah, exactly. That's I am not a goal scorer. <laughs> I just need to put that out. I am not a goal scorer. I am a creator. Um, I can score goals. Um, I always say to all, Laura, like, I'll pinch in a few, like, I'll get you five to a season, but don't be, don't be betting on me getting you these goals that you need. Um, <laughs> and I've been coming in, obviously been playing, you know, six and eight, so only recently I've been kind of getting up on the, on the back line a little bit, so. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of goals, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take it, you know, I'll, I'll thank it every single one of my teammates because they make it so easy for me but um yeah i did not know why it scored that many goals yeah, i'll take it thank you <laughs> let me know that <laughs> that's, that's nice uh speaking of goals and goal celebrations jess what was the inspiration for the team dance uh for your first goal in stoppage time uh basically my little nephew uh he saw my celebration last week, and so then he wanted to do a dance for me to do it, basically. So he sent a message over by my sister, and I was like, Jesse, if you score to this dance, and he was doing his dance, so me and Z obviously worked on it when we saw it, and then I was doing it, and then everyone was like, what's this? And I was like, it's JoJo's dance, and then everybody started doing it. So yeah, that was, that was super cute. I will go to a video from him show me his little dance. So when he wakes up, he'll be asleep. You know, you'll, you'll see it tomorrow. So that's nice. Yeah. Despite you just saying you're not a goal scorer, do you feel like the expectations now uh, growing on you in terms of <laughs> you've done a chicken dance, you've done a dance you know, based by your, you know, uh, your nephew, do you feel like you now have to keep it going to another level the next time you find it back in the net? No, probably not. You know, I, I've never really done celebrations before, and these two just happen to be super coincidental um, with last week's and this week's. And soon enough, I'll just start running around and waving them to the end. So. <laughs> but we'll see. You know, they're, fun, they're fun, like Beth said. They're, they're quite fun. You know, we do them at Wales as well, actually. So um, maybe it'll be something that we just start doing. I don't know. All right, that's it for questions. Thanks, Thank Jess.